We just started a game at Mahjong time. In this strategy theory session, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you've not tried playing here yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information on their 30-day VIP trial. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. We have a joker and two pair, ones and fives. I'm thinking maybe a little odd hand. Let's see. Let's let the two bam go. Let's focus on little odds, one, three, five of some kind, maybe. We could maybe do three, four, five, six. Here's a five bam, that's keeper. So we can pass, let's see, there's five, nine. Maybe we could play the concealed odd hand. Hmm, concealed odd hand. Since we have a one dot pair, Let's let the one crack go. All right, here we go. Maybe we can play this odd concealed hand if we can get a five dot. No. We did get a six. Five, six. That's not a lot. Here's two, three, five, six. That really doesn't work. Let's let the two crack go with the six bam. We'll pass one of each suit. This might announce that I'm playing an odd hand, <laughs> two, two, six, eight. So this, this opponent is going to know something. Something's up. All right, so we got to keep her nine if we play that concealed odd hand. We definitely need to keep going. Absolutely. Let's hope. Maybe we can use this as the missing five. We still could get it, I suppose. We have an extra three bam, but I want to hold that because if we get a three dot, we might be able to do one, three, three, five, pong, kong, pong, kong, second hand down under odds. At the moment, we have a dragon we do not need. I, I usually don't like to pass those, but I will if I need to optimize. Okay, now here we have three, four, five, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay, let's, here we go again, odds. We're making an announcement of sorts. Four, four, six, eight. <laughs> Who's this one going to? Oh, these tiles can be telling. We really want a five dot. Okay, a lot of evens are coming around in here. A lot of even tiles. Maybe I'm not the only one playing odds. We need a, a three dot seven bam as singles if we play the concealed hand. Okay, now we have a three bam. So I would probably, either way we're playing a gap hand. I think what I would do here, hmm, two tiles. Okay, that's perfect. Two tiles. We don't have to pass the white dragon. So I want to test my, I'm going to test my, my mic real quick. Test, test. We're good. Okay. Two bam, Eight two, three, bam. five. All right. We have three discards, joker bait, nine bam pair, unless we play that concealed hand, but I would almost rather play the punk Kong hand. Second one down under odds. There's somebody thinking about that eight dot. Um, what is going on here? Oh, all right. So wins, we're not playing wins. North win. Eight dot. If I'm not playing wins, they go first, then dragons, then your tiles. Six dots. Those are my first three discards, typically. Four characters. Okay, we got a five. Dragon. So we'll keep it for a little bit. It's Four probably dots. not going to be useful with what we have. Two characters. Really, a three dot is what we need, or five dot. Two characters. Okay, now here's a one bam. Two bamboo. So we have one, three, five in bams. Four Maybe bamboos. we can use this 
Joker as a seven bam and play the first Born hand. Characters. I think this five crack needs to go. White dragon. We don't need wins. West wins. So one, three, five, seven, nine, seven North bam is a win. gap. Or the three dot if we play flower, the concealed hand or the second hand down. Three dot, five dot. I think three the first dots. hand might be looking better, actually. The Nine three dot just three. went down. So for the concealed Eight hand, we need one. For the for the second hand down, we need a Kong. Flower. So I probably wouldn't play the Pung Kong hand because we would need a, to dedicate Nine a Joker characters. for that three dot. Well, we got a nine dot. Two bamboo. One nine. There is a one nine in one suit with three, five, seven in the middle. Four Second bamboos. hand from the bottom. If we get a seven bam. But if we get a seven Green bam, dragon. I think I would probably go for the first hand. South wind. I'm kind of thinking we should play the first Four odd dots. hand. This nine dot can go and probably the one dot. Seven dots. bamboos. That's, that's our tile. We need to pung that. Seven characters. All right. Let's just see what happens. Let's let the five crack go. So here's five a two characters. bam. Two, three, five. Seven bamboos. There's a four, two four bams are out and a two bam. So I would discard that. Red dragon. It's good to look at what has been discarded to see what your potential is for gathering those tiles. There are two two bams out one and two dot. four bams out. Now there's a one dot. We have a pair. And no, but I was Two thinking bamboos. maybe that could be Joker bait. Nobody wanted the Eight one dot, bamboos. so these are probably not going to be good for three bamboos. Our hope for a Joker exchange. Now here we have to decide. I would go ahead and pung, even though we're playing hmm. a gap hand. We can use jokers. We can use a joker. So I'm going to define dots. it as a seven. Four bamboos. That way the game knows what we're playing. First odd hand. And I would go ahead and One commit. Bamboo. It's a little bit risky because there are two seven bands seven out. Characters. But we can use any number of jokers to complete Four that. Characters. You don't have to have a natural tile Eight in a characters. block of three or more identical tiles. So Eight Pung dots. Kong, well, Quint, you have two to have a joker. Dots. But um, okay, five crack we don't need. So Four for Pungs and Kongs, three of a kind, four of a kind, they could all be jokers if you want them to. Eight characters. So the only weakness we have is the one BM and one is out. White dragon. North wind. We just got the one BM. Nine so now we have no weakness. Well, we do. We have a gap. That is a weakness. Four <laughs> so, characters. Yeah. Mm. Ignore that statement. Two dots. We 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 need a seven BAM in here. Four BAM. Or Joker. Joker would be nice. Four dots. There are two more seven bams. Eight bamboos. Nine characters. And if a five bam goes down, I would total, I would call it. Absolutely. Nine bamboos. Oh, we don't need that. We don't need a two dot. Two I, dots. Oh, that's already out. The one North dots I don't win. think anybody wants. We're getting ready to go into the end game on our next pick. Eight characters. Eight dots. Oh, look, we ended up getting the we ended up getting the three dot. I would stick with three this, dots. even though Seven that would three. have been a no gap hand. There's already a three Seven dot out. Dots. Wow. Maybe that would have been a better keeper, but we have two pair that we'd have to throw away. White dragon. Hong Kong. Hmm. One character. That might have been a better keeper. But that's okay. This is a flexible game. You can use jokers. So if you three make a mistake, dots. there goes the other three dot. We could have punged that. Two dots. But we were further away from the one the Pung Kong Seven hand. Dots. So I'm okay with that choice. West wind. It's best not to do the shoulda, coulda, woulda Seven analysis. Bamboos. There goes the seven bam. There's only one more. Two characters. Just one more seven bam left. West wind. Green dragon. We have five five picks. Let's see. 
Five picks left and two discards. Oh I'm hoping that we'll get oh dragon. I'm hoping Green we'll get dragon. the seven bam or a joker. A joker would be ideal seven. because then if one of these other players throws a seven bam, we could mash. We could we wouldn't mahjong, we would pung. Which would also Red announce dragon. our hand. I'm hoping we get we got the seven. All Red right, dog. we can undefine this now. Okay. Red dragon. So now we need another joker because all, all three seven bams are out. We need a joker. So the, the potential of us getting one is probably slim. There it is. Oh, nice. All right. We're ready to win on a five bam. And we're, we're semi-stealth mode. Seven characters. We have only one exposure. So there's no way people can figure out what we're playing. We have a chance to win. Two bamboos. Jokers. They be nice. Red dragon. There was a hesitation on Seven the five characters. dot when it went down, so somebody might be playing like numbers with fives or maybe little odds, maybe consecutive. We have two more picks. South wind. Five bam is a fresh tile. I don't think we're going to see it in a discard. Flower. I would be really surprised, but people are throwing flowers, which is also Three risky. Bamboos. We have one, two more picks. Eight bamboos. One dot. One dot. All right. We still have a chance. Joker. Uh-oh. Defense. That's an indicator that they have folded. Joker. Another indicator. Three characters. Okay. What? One crack. All right. Out with you. Joker. Wall game. A draw. Five bam. Okay, so we have an odd hand across from us. They're playing the concealed hand. They held on to the five bam. Let's just go take a peek. One, three, five, seven, nine, odd hand. So I was not the only one playing odds. They have the five bam, and they did not want to risk it. And incidentally, we have their winning tile. Actually, they have... They need a five crack in here too, and a one crack. We have their one crack, and I believe the five cracks went down. So they needed a joker. Over here, they have a three, six, nine hand building. Lots of flowers there. And then over here, a quint with sixes, ready to win on a six bam or six crack. Yikes. All right. Well, I think that was a pretty good game. It was a, a great way to practice critical thinking, situational awareness. And there's really not much social intelligence you can gather playing online. But when you play in person, read the room, watch body language, especially micro expressions. When discards go down or exposures are made, you can gather a lot of good intel that way. When you play online, hesitations would be the tell. And then you can practice critical thinking and situational awareness by reading the tiles, the discards and exposures. If you haven't played online, I highly recommend it to build your skills. If you haven't tried it, playing at Mahjong Time, I can give you a 30-day VIP trial. Send me an email, which you can find in the video description below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.